Good evening students. Today we are going to study an important topic in grade 12 chemistry. Coordination compounds valence bond theory which is also known as VBT. So in this how to draw the structures we will identify. Before you start just try to follow two important steps here. Number one identify oxidation state of central metal ion so it can be atom or ion what is the first point to note the first point is always try to find out the oxidation state of central metal atom or ion second one is you have to find out which type of ligand is given so the types of ligands you know the ligands are of two types First one is strong field ligand. I'll give you a simple mnemonic to remember this short field ligand. Like, suppose you are taking in the decreasing order of of strength. That means whatever I write, the first will have the maximum uh, strength. In that particular order we will write down now to remember this let me take C node pen C node pen See, let us say C node pen or C node pen you can write easily in this we have 2C so let me write 2C then N O D E and then pen C node pen 2C we have taken what I am trying to do is first one will be having the maximum strength here so it is the strongest field again what we can say now C here is CO next one is Cl minus what is CO it is known as carbonyl Cn is cyanido next after this NO2 minus Ardophenyl dipyridine ethylene diamine. So, for your understanding, I'll write it as nitro ardophenyl as it is dipyridine ligand ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine. In the type of ligands, we have already discussed all these ligands. Next, pyridine. Pyridine is represented as PY short letter first one. Next EDTA 4 minus nothing but ethylene diamine tetra acetate. So hexadentic ligand as we already know. So EDTA 4 minus and the last one is NCS minus that is isothiocyanato so if you are given the order we can directly write that this is having the maximum strength so the order so down the down the group what I have written this is having the least strength but still this is also a strong field like now what will happen to the central metal atom the electrons which are present in that pairing pairing of electrons takes place in the presence of strong field ligands what will happen for example if at all you have six electrons in D we will discuss the examples later now let me take like this so here what will happen in the presence of strong field ligand the pairing of electrons takes place like this and in the ionic form what you get you will have three pairs of electrons and these two will participate in hybridization. So hope you have understood this in the case of d orbitals what happens the strong field ligands will make the pairing of electrons. So that's why we have to know the difference between strong field and weak field ligands. Now let me write weak field ligands hope you have understood the order also.
once again to remember this we can have a simple mnemonic here so we can write it as second one that is weak feel again write it as hoof triple o f so hoof n s c s by very simple you need to remember the first letters that's why we are taking a word like this hoof n s c s by now what will happen in the presence of weak field leg like, and we are taking it in the decreasing order so in the decreasing order of strength that means this will have maximum strength even though it is a weak field leg like. what will happen you will have unpaired electrons that means they cannot bring in the pairing of electrons if at all you can take like this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 whatever it is now there will not be any pairing of electrons here but in the earlier case if there are six electrons there was pairing of electrons due to the presence of earlier it was strong field like and now weak field like and does not have any effect on the pairing so let us see now first one H stands for H two O, O two minus, O X two minus, O H minus, and F minus. So who if I have written and I have written the weak field ligands. And next, N O three minus, S two minus, C L minus, S C N minus, B R minus, and I minus. So with this we have completed the order of uh, Weak field ligands. Now, if you write the name, H two is aqua, O two minus is oxo, O X two minus is oxalate. Nothing but C O O minus and C O O minus. Next, O H minus is hydroxo, F minus is fluorido. NO3 minus is nitrato is 2 minus sulfido see we already know how to name this i am not going to go in detail cl minus is chlorido scn minus earlier we had ncs minus which is strong now this is weak scn minus nothing but thiocyanate Br minus is bromido, I minus is iodido. So with this we have done with the types of ligands. One was strong field ligand and second one is weak field ligand, and we understood the difference also. In the presence of strong field ligand, pairing takes place, and here there is no pairing of electrons. Now let us move into the examples, and we will solve the uh, structure and geometry depending upon valence bond theory. Now let us see the example here. You need to identify hybridization, geometry, structure, and magnetic nature of FeCN six four minus. So any any complex they have mentioned here. Now follow the steps. Find oxidation state of metal and then type of ligand. Now if you see Cn minus here, we can understand that it comes under which category? Strong field ligand. Strong field ligand that is Cn minus cyanide. So based on that we can easily identify this. First and foremost thing, find the oxidation state. So if you take Fe, atomic number is twenty six. We know argon. This is eighteen. After that we know outer orbital that is four s two. Before that you have three d twenty and six. So three d six. So this is Fe. That is an iron atom. Now how do you find the oxidation state? Take it as x. Minus one, Cn is minus one. Now, equate that x into six minus one is minus six. The total charge on the complex ion is minus four. So x minus six is equal to minus four. X is equal to minus four plus six. We can say that it is plus two. So here, what you can write? If we will become plus two. Next, with this configuration, now if you convert it into Fe two plus, so this is first one. And in this case, it is Fe two plus ion. 
what will be the arrangement now? 4s2 valence electrons are removed now. So therefore we have the configuration is argon 3d6, 4s0 and 4p0. You know 4d also is there but we are not going to take because this one we can easily identify that inner orbital complex. So 4d0 we don't consider. Now draw the orbitals. The orbitals we have 5. How many electrons are there? 6 electrons. 4, 5. Then pairing of electrons is done. So this is 3d6. Next I will write 4s0 here. And this one is 3d6. Next. 4p is 0. Now what will happen? You are having Cn- minus, which is strong field like an so in the presence of, so if you write a c cn6, 4 minus, due to strong field ligand, due to strong field ligand, what will happen now? Pairing of electrons takes place. So therefore, you can draw like this. So we have 5 orbitals in this, pairing is done. So 4s0 and 4p. Now, very easily you can identify this will be participating in the hybridization. What are present here? We are having two d orbitals, one s orbital and a 3p. Therefore, we can write like this. This is known as a d2 sp3 hybridization. And it is very easy. Why we have taken six orbitals? Because we are having six ligands. Due to that, we can write uh, hybridization very easily. Now, first one, hybridization is nothing but D2 sp3 hybridization. One more important thing, the inner 3D orbitals are participating in the bonding, hence we also call it as inner orbital complex. Later, we will see that also. Hope you have understood up to this. Now, According to the hybridization, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This is nothing but D2 sp3 hybrid orbital. We have 6. Now, what will happen? Each ligand donates one pair of electrons. Hence, what happens here? You are going to get the orbitals gets filled. Hope you have understood this. This is nothing but Fe2 plus ion. If you draw the structure of that, let me take Fe2 plus. Now, how many ligands are there? Six ligands. Four Cn minus will be like this. Right. Next. Remaining two, one above the plane and one below the plane. Therefore, we can say that the geometry of this is octahedral. So hybridization already I wrote D2SP3. Now geometry of this will be octahedral. Next. What will be the magnetic nature of this? We have drawn the structure, we have written the geometry. Now what will be the magnetic nature? Now if you remember in Fe2 plus, what happened there? We had pairing of electrons. That means we can say that there is no unpaired electron. There is no unpaired electron. Don't consider the complete complex. We have to see only the metal ion. In the metal ion, you are having no unpaired electrons. Therefore, the magnetic nature now will become due to the unpaired electron, no unpaired electrons, it will become diamagnetic. You know that unpaired electron is present means it will become paramagnetic. Now this is diamagnetic in nature. And there will be very low spin because of pairing. Hence you also call this as a low spin complex. Low spin complex due to the presence of all field electrons. Now, one more important thing here 3D has participated because inner orbital 3d has participated has participated in hybridization 
therefore you call it as inner orbital complex therefore this complex is also called inner orbital complex so hope i have uh, made it very clear so this is the method how you will write the hybridization then geometry structure and the magnetic nature so due to the presence of strong free ligand we have taken one example and pairing of electrons is done now let us check out an example which contains weak field ligand now the second question is using a weak field ligand water or aqua fe h2o6 2 plus now you don't know the oxidation state of fe you know the first step is always find out the oxidation state of central metal atom or ion so here we can say that h2o is neutral in nature aqua is neutral hence we can easily identify that x plus 0 is nothing but 2 therefore x is equal to plus 2 oxidation state of fe here is plus 2 so first step we have done now coming to the second step how to find out the hybridization first and foremost thing writing electronic configuration in the ground state for fe atomic number is 26 argon 3d6 4s2 here you have 4p0 and 4d0 now in the ionic state that is fe2 plus what is the configuration of this two electrons are removed from this hence we get argon 3d6 4s0 4p0 and 4d0 very important thing in the presence of in the presence of weak field ligand that is h2o what will happen there is no pairing of electron that means here 3d we take how many electrons are there we have six electrons now earlier case in the presence of strong ligand cn minus they have paired up but here there is no pairing of electron in case of 3d6 next 4s0 next 4p0 and 4d 1 2 3 4 5 40 now how many ligands are there we have six ligands therefore how many hybrid orbitals we need we need six so what will be the hybridization so s p so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so up to this you have hybridization now what is hybridization known as sp3 d2 hybridization very important thing here what is that this will not participate in the hybridization now only this will participate and outer d orbitals are involved hence uh, the complex formed will be known as outer orbital complex very simple we are discussing about the nature of the complex this is outer orbital complex because instead of inner 3d outer 4d are participating in the hybridization hence it is called as outer orbital complex next because of this we got six hybrid orbitals now hybridization is sp3 d2 hybridization due to that we get six hybrid orbitals and each ligand that is h2o donates a pair of electron therefore we get from each ligand one pair of electron is donated so this will be your orbitals so now electrons are filled here what will be the structure of this now once again you have fe2 plus the same structure we can have actually oxygen with the lone pair is the ligand we already know that now what is the geometry geometry after hydrogen next what is the magnetic nature here 
very important thing here we noted that in the case of metal atom you have 3d6 electrons so due to that how many unpaired electrons we have we are having four unpaired electrons due to this unpaired electrons it will show paramagnetic nature so magnetic nature here will be paramagnetic now one more important thing due to the presence of unpaired electrons we have high spin hence this is also called as high spin complex and we already know that due to the outer orbital participation this is known as outer orbital complex so due to this you can understand very easily how to draw the structure then finding out the hybridization geometry structure magnetic nature is very simple hope you have understood this in the next class we will complete the remaining uh, structures so with this we conclude vbt thank you so much